In this module of Chapter 1, uh, Module 1.4, I will cover Lexus diagrams, a concept that is well known in formal demography, but less so in ecology and population biology. Lexus diagrams are graphical representations of the relationship between demographic events in time and persons at risk. They are named after the German statistician Wilhelm Lexus. Two numbers characterize every demographic event. First, the age of the person, and second, the period at which it occurs. An individual's life can be depicted as a lifeline where the line begins on the time axis at the time of the individual's birth and ends at the time representing the individual's death. The individual depicted here was born in 1900, died in 1980, and thus lived to 80 years. The Lexus diagram is a powerful conceptual and heuristic tool used for visualizing and understanding the concept of age period cohort effects. Age effects, the biological origin of age effects usually endows them with a generality and regularity. In other words, the biology of 10, 45, and 70 year olds, for example, has remained essentially the same since the dawn of humankind. Cohort effects, these reflect the generation or birth cohorts and in turn affect the value and habits of individuals within it. Cohorts such as baby boomers and millennials all carry with them habits unique to their generation that affect their mortality risk, including health habits. Period or historical events affect all age groups at once, although different ages often react differently. For example, the mortality response to epidemics, famines, and wars of the very young and the very old are often much greater than the response of middle-aged uh, persons. As an example here, I show a Lexus diagram depicting the age period relationships of eminent scientists from Charles Darwin and Alfred Russell Wallace to Nathan Kiefitz and E.O. Wilson. The naturalist Alfred Wallace was a 36-year-old explorer in 1859 when the 50-year-old Darwin published his seminal On the Origin of Species. And he was a 59-year-old scholar in 1882 when, as pallbearer, he carried the casket of the 73-year-old newly deceased Charles Darwin. Wallace died in 1913 at age 90 the birth year of demographer Nathan Kiefitz. The Lexus diagram consists of five different elements, each of which depicts a different age period cohort relationship. Using uh, ages 10 and 11 as examples, and 1900 and uh, 1901, for example, periods, I will illustrate each of these elements. The upper Lexus triangle depicts individuals who were aged 10 in 1900 and turn 11 that same year. The lower Lexus triangle depicts individuals who turned 10 in 1900 and turned 11 in 1901. The Lexus square depicts life years lived for all individuals between ages 10 and 11 from 1900 to 1901. The Lexus horizontal parallelogram depicts life years lived for all individuals who turned 10 in 1900 and turned 11 in 1901. The Lexus vertical parallelogram depicts all individuals who turned 10 in 1900 and turned 11 in 1901. Based on six time measures contained in the description earlier, including chronological age, A, period, P, birth cohort, C, thanatological age, T, death cohort, D, and lifespan, L, Tim Reife and his colleagues at the Max Planck Institute in Rostock, Germany, developed a unifying framework of demographic time using identities and sub-identities that con connect all these measures. These demographers use this terminology and the co concept of Lexus measures to create triad identities where any two pieces of information will give the third. 
Reife and his colleagues noted that there are four informative triad identities formed by the various combinations of three measures, the relationships of which are presented in Lexus-like diagrams shown here, including APC, TPD, TAL, and LCD. We use their approach, applied to biographical and historical information on eminent biologists and demographers to illustrate these identities by giving brief descriptions of three permutations within each of the four triads. Variants of age, period, and cohort, APC. This APC temporal plane constitutes the classical Lexus diagram. If Nathan Kiefitz was age 10 in 1923, then he must have been born in 1913. The lifelines are run diagonal to A and P axes. The ACP temporal plane is equivalent to the Lexus diagram, except birth cohort is given and period is derived rather than the other way around. Given that Charles Darwin was born in 1809 and he was 22, when he departed on his epic round-the-world expedition on the uh, HMS Beagle, then the year he departed must have been 1831. The CPA temporal plane is equivalent to the Lexus diagram, except birth cohorts are given and age is derived rather than the other way around. Plant geneticist Barbara McClintock was born in 1902, and therefore, in 1983, when she received the Nobel Prize, she was age 81. Variants of Thanatological Age Period and Death Cohort, TPD. Wilhelm Lexus had 39 years of life left in 1875 when he published his original Lexus diagram. He thus belonged to the 1914 Death Cohort. These lines are orthogonal, that is sloped downward, to lifelines because as time to death decreases, calendar uh, date increases. Benjamin Gompertz died in 1865, thus in 1825, when he published his mortality model, he had 40 years left to live. Thomas Malthus died in 1834, and when he had 36 years of life left, he published his An Essay on the Principle of Population. Therefore, he published this seminal work in 1798. Variants of Thanatological Age, Chronological Age, and Lifespan. The time already lived and the time still left to live sum to total lifespan. Alfred Lotka was 45 years old when he published his classic article in 1925, at which time he had 24 more years to live. Thus, he lived to age 69. John Grant lived to the age of 54, and when he had 12 years left, he published Bills of Mortality, which meant that he was 42 years old at the time of publication. The British plant population biologist John Harper was 52 years old when he published his seminal book, Population Biology of Plants. He lived to age 84, and he thus had 32 years to witness the book's impact on plant science. Variants of lifespan, chronological age, and death year. Biologist W.D. Hamilton was born in 1936, and he lived to be only 64, implying an untimely death in 2000. Francis Crick was born in 1916 and died in 2004, thus he had a lifespan of 88 years. Isaac Newton died in 1727 with a completed lifespan of 84, putting his birth year in 1643. Lifespan diagrams are as beautiful in their simplicity as they are profound in their demographic utility. This ends Module 1.4.